Let's try to draw some Lewis electron dot structures. Formaldehyde is a common compound, CH2O. The question I have is, which of these structures is the correct Lewis electron dot structure for formaldehyde? Think about that for a minute and make a selection. Let's look at possible explanations for all the answers. A has the correct number of electrons and all the octets are satisfied. Or B has the most stable triple bond and therefore the most likely to form. C has the electrons spread out to minimize the electron-electron repulsion. Think about those options for a minute and make another selection. We're writing the Lewis electron dot structure for formaldehyde. Whenever you write Lewis electron dot structures, you first have to get the correct number of electrons. So you add up the valence electrons for all the participating atoms. So we'll take carbon, which has four valence electrons. We'll take an oxygen with six valence electrons. And we need two hydrogens. Each has one valence electron. So that's a total of 12 valence electrons. So our structures each must have 12 valence electrons to hold them together. You, you write a Lewis electron dot structure by taking your valence electrons and spreading them out to make bonds and hold the whole molecule together. Well, let's look at C. If we look at C, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 electrons were used to hold that structure together. There aren't 14 valence electrons among those atoms. So that's not a proper Lewis electron dot structure. How about B? If you look at B, there's a subtle error here. This has 12 electrons, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. But carbon has too many. Carbon wants an octet, but it's sharing 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons. So there's no octet on carbon here. Our first structure, A, has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 electrons, the right number. And carbon has 2, 4, 6, 8, an octet. Oxygen has 2, 4, 6, 8, an octet. And each hydrogen has two electrons around it, which satisfies hydrogen. So A is the proper Lewis electron dot structure for formaldehyde.